So I served my mission <laughs> in Mexico, Saltillo from 2014 to 2016. Um, the mission Mexico Saltillo or Saltillo Mexico is in a state called Coahuila. So in Mexico they have states just like they do in the U.S. Um, they're actually called Los Estados Unidos de Mexico or the United States of Mexico. And our state is named Coahuila. It's right next to Chihuahua and Nuevo Leon. So if you're looking at the map, and if you look at Texas, we're right on the border of Texas, and there's that curve in Texas. Coahuila is just stuck up in that curve. So some of our areas were on the U.S.-Mexican border. Um, the city of Saltillo, the capital, is down at the bottom of Coahuila. So our whole mission is Coahuila, which is very large. It's about the size of Utah. So that's our whole mission, except for one little corner um, where they have their own mission called Torreon. Um, so our mission was very large. It was very spread apart. I spent the majority of my mission in the capital, Saltillo, and I spent three months in a little town called Sabinas, which is farther north, closer to the border. Um, in Mexican cities in general, the way that you get around uh, is it's kind of different. So the city or town is sectioned into things called colonias or colonies. And so when you're in an area, for example, my first area was called Zaragoza, we had many colonies in our, in our area. Colonies are basically just neighborhoods that they give a name and then all of the streets kind of relate to the name that the neighborhood has. So for example, in one of my areas, there was a colony or colonia called El Salvador, and that means the savior. And each of the streets had a name found in the Bible or a name of a Bible book. So there was Leviticus, Exodus, Galatians. Um, there was another colony in my first area that was called La Amistad which means friendship. And the street names were things like Cupid, Love, Romeo, Juliet, Aphrodite. Um, so that was really interesting. So my first area, uh, I was there for six months. It was called Saragossa. And it was in Saltillo. It was... It was a really good area. Um, my second area was Sabinas. That was the city that was farther north near the border, kind of near the border. Um, that was also, I was only there for three months and then I was sent back to Saltillo where I had two more areas, Sarco and Oceania. Um, just a little bit about Saltillo. Um, something interesting about it is when I was looking at my mission online, uh, <laughs> you get onto the Wikipedia page, and the first, basically the first thing that you see is the Detroit of Mexico. And I don't know about you, but when I read the Detroit of Mexico, it doesn't really establish a lot of confidence in, <laughs> in what it's gonna be like. I was thinking, okay, Detroit, that kind of makes me think of like just not a very safe place but the reason why it's called the Detroit of Mexico is because in Detroit they have a lot of factories car factories just factories in general that generate a lot of things and all most of those factories got moved to factories in Mexico and the majority of the factories are in Saltillo. So that's why it's called the Detroit of Mexico because 
all of the factories that were in Detroit are now in South Theo. Um, South Theo is relatively big. Uh, a lot of people there. Um, let's see, what does it say? Um, in South Theo, there are around, let's see, there are three chapels and one stake center. So there, it is pretty big. The church is pretty big there, and it's growing. Um, the religious climate, a lot of people there are Catholics. You will run into some... Christians, just Christian faiths in general. Um, the Catholics, they will accept you into their houses. They're pretty um, accepting of what you have to hear, what you have to say. One of the challenges about serving in Saltillo, Saltillo specifically, is that the people there work in the factories. Um, and the factory schedules are very random and so it's really hard to pin them down. Most of the time when you ask someone where they work they would say in the, fra in the fabrica which is the factory and you would ask them what their hours were and they would say on Monday I work from 8 to 5, on Tuesday I work from 4 to 9 and and it would just, it would be really crazy. And so it was really hard to pin them down. Um, and it was really hard to get them to church because not a lot of people own cars. And so they would either have to take a taxi or walk. And because um, the areas where I worked in, they were a bit, poor, they didn't have a lot of money, it was really hard if the chapel was far away to be able to get them to the chapel. And because the members didn't really have cars either, you couldn't carpool. Um, that wasn't really an option. They could go on the bus, but it was still, still cost money to get all of the family members there. So that was a real struggle and something that um, we worked really hard on during my mission, but it was really hard to get people to go to church. And a lot of the people that get baptized do. Um, if they don't have the members constantly working with them and um, fellowshipping them, then it is very easy to not have enough money to go to church and then just end up in this cycle where you don't end up going to church. So that was really hard. Uh, you ended up with a lot of less actives simply because they didn't have the money to get a taxi or go on the bus.